shooting people on rotates not needed at all like again solos right. is literally if you need surge it's like 200 damage 150 damage like if you can add that up from the point we watched you already had max surge i guarantee you like you're so chilling and again if you need a tag it's like one or two tags Okay, hello. Right now, we're about to coach somebody in the Season Thesis Discord. He is a member of the Discord. He simply just messaged me. He said, hey, do you have time for a private session? I said, yes, let's do it. So he's already in the general chat. Let's pull him in and we're going to hop straight into it. I've never talked to this guy in my entire life. So uh, I'm excited to help him. Let's do it. Yo. Yo, what's up, bro? What's, what's good, dude? Let's rock, dude. Okay. Kind of just wanted your help because I'm trying to become like a better solo player, you know, like, especially when it comes to like fighting and like rotates and stuff okay do you have some vods from the last little cash cup we can watch uh not from this little cash cup but i have a scrim vod that we let's do it watch. do you have the replay of it or do you just have the i the... have i mean i have both but i can show the obs and the replay yeah the replay would be best that way i can fly around and i can look at a bunch of different things so this is a solo scrim or this is from the tournament this is a solo scrim okay. so you can just like skip to like 20 minutes or something too so you're in your box here I don't know exactly what mobility you have, but I'm assuming you have a fizz. So I have, I had uh, four flow berries. Okay, nice. So I just, I, yeah. Yeah. So one, so thing when you're talking about mobility and like movement and rotates in general, right? Like a couple of small things that you might already do. I'm just going to point out as much as I possibly can to see if I can give you any type of different perspective or maybe teach you something that you just didn't know. Because I, I, this is the first time we talked to each other, so I have no idea how. Your depth of competitive knowledge is I, I'm not exactly sure, which is fine. So I'm going to go over as much as I possibly can here. <coughs> so number one, if you're looking at this position here and you have to rotate across, right? So first things first is you can always shoot out boxes near you, right? So like if you don't know if he's here or not, like doesn't matter. Just take a shot at him. Like if he's if he's still there and, he, and you shoot at him, he's not going to just come back and just spray a thousand bullets into you, right? It's so like I don't know what the fear might might be of not doing it, but... Um, whatever it is, it's it's most likely not going to happen. I I mean, it's it's extremely safe right. to spray this wall. I mean, you don't have to break it, but look, you could have seen this guy headshot sniped. This this could have been your loot right here, which mm -hmm. would have been a fizz and whatever else. And maybe you look up here and you spray this guy's wall and you say, okay, this guy's also gone. But so like, you should one hundred percent be comfortable spraying walls near you. Of like, you don't have to spray this guy down here because this this guy's not on your rotate. This guy right here though is in your way. Spray the wall. You would have seen the loot. You could have gotten really stacked. Um, next thing you can do. Is what you're doing already you're scouting in your cone, which is huge. Um, but also, POI clumps uh, are are super common. Like you're, I mean, you're seeing here, like for for flying up here, like all the little little target things, whatever. They're all in the POI. There's a lot of people in the POI versus outside of the POI, and that's like seems that maybe maybe that doesn't seem like a crazy thing, but I trust, believe me, like POI clumps is a thing. And has always been a thing in Fortnite. So, like, even if like this isn't late, this late in the game, let's say it's a couple zones earlier, like where you are is better than being like maybe even where this guy's at in here. Or like, let's say this position, like, yeah, cool, you're in the middle of the spot. You can see like maybe the zones. Everyone's coming from this way. I don't know. Like, but it's it's better to avoid the POI if you can. Like, being in this bush over here, or being on this hill. Like, there's a lot of other spots. POI clumps are very very right. common. So that and then, go ahead. So, uh, when spraying a wall, is it important for me to make sure I'm on like a right hand peak or does it like not really matter yeah, like, for that box? There we go. We have audio now. Yeah. It should, it should just be like one of the things where you, Oh, let me just see here. Uh, where you're just kind of like, you're coming down here and you edit a window and you kind of just like hit fire spray and move. Like you're just, you're seeing what you can see. Or you, okay. you can edit like a peanut butter peak here and spray while you're like running around. Like if you're moving around, as long as you're not like ADS standing still, then you shouldn't be of like of, shouldn't be a worry at all. This guy just died too. Um, which you could have heard that as well, by the way. Like you hundred percent. I have. did, I did, but I didn't know that it was there. I should, I, I should have gone to check. But the simply is like if you hear somebody's shield get cracked by a sniper, like you hear a sniper and then a shield. Unless this guy's like a silencer on it, then you should just look in the kill feed and say, "Oh, he died from sixty three meters. That's probably him. Let's go get his loot." Um, okay. Also lets you know like oh there's a sniper looking in this direction like I guess should be careful because um, you have no idea where that exactly came from. So yeah, so spraying a wall is super simple. Just like edit, spray the wall, hit fire spray, just tap it. A you don't have to break it. You don't have to break. You're not going to spray this entire box out. You're just going to see what you can right. see. See if you can just break it enough to see through the walls. You you can't see through the wall right now. You just need a couple bullets into it to see if you can see where he's at. And then maybe you spray the cone too so you can clear both angles. So that's he's either behind this wall or in this cone. It's only two spots. 
Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, so onto the rota here. Just, I, I, I always preach this, and this is a huge thing of like understanding your awareness, like your surroundings here. Like you, I know there's a sniper that was just shot, but there's really not many people that can see you here. Like looking at the angles here, like, I mean, if we remove, let's just remove name tags here. All right, like come back to you. Like this is your perspective here, essentially. And yeah. like, like I'm seeing this tree blocking my cover. I'm seeing that there. This is dead up here, like at the top. You can't see my cursor, can you? No. So like this, this, this red building is like dead, right? Like there's not much going on up here. There's if I'm playing it right now, like there's these aren't placing. They're not building. They're like they're stuck like this. Like they're pre-damaged. You know what I'm saying? So looking mm -hmm. at clues like that, like okay, my next threat might be this bush box, like over here. Like this guy maybe is in this bush here that I can't see. Maybe I'll spray that cone too. Like if you're gonna rotate that way, that's fine too. Uh, obviously, you don't need to spray this guy's box. Like that's a little, a little extreme. You might, you probably don't even need to spray this guy's box. He, he can't really hear you if you rotate, anyways. Um, so going and replay, and like I always try to attach what ifs to everything. So like you could have done this yourself. I've just been like, okay, come in the cone, remove name tags, and see what you see. Like what if I, oh, I just messed it up. What if I did left instead of right here? If what if I went earlier? Like what what that what did I see that maybe I could have seen differently if I just paid attention a little bit more. Um, okay. Let me get back to the replay because that's annoying. Okay, you already rotated it in. Let's go back a bit. Just a, just a tad. Okay, so we'll we'll talk about this now. We don't have to go back to the exact moment. Let me turn on name tags real quick. But what I do want to mention is like being super efficient in your rotates and like the fact that we just we just saw that there wasn't many threat points, right? Like, there's mm -hmm. now looking at replay. I mean, there's a guy. There's a dude here that's not looking your way. There's no one here. There's guys on down below here. But in general, like what I saw you do is you popped a berry, like you were in your cone. You popped a berry in your cone and you went. And when you only have a certain, I don't know if you said four, you said you had four berries. Yeah. Yeah. So when you only have four berries, like that is not enough to last you the entire game. Like if you got this fizz and it was 100 fizz, go for it. You pop the fizz. That's a lot. Like that, you have a ton of, a ton of fizz left, but four berries. Now you have three and you didn't have to do anything to, you didn't have to waste it at all. You could have just ran. Yeah, um, I mean, well, I was what I always thought. I mean, this is probably wrong, but if I I use like my rotation stuff like in like the like kind of the these like bigger zones because it's there's more ground to cover. Because if I had like three berries left in the like eight zone, like I feel like then I could just run it and it would be easier. I think that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's, that's not why I used that's it. not. That's not an invalid thought, like to say, like, oh, I'll just use my mobility earlier. Like, it, it's yeah. definitely doesn't. Like, Fortnite isn't like that. Like, just because the zone's like bigger doesn't mean you have to use your mobility. So don't I? That definitely want to want you to change your thought of like that makes sense because it does like it. It does have a little bit of sense to it. Like, but at the same time, it's not like a perfect like perfect scenario every time the perfect scenario would be you scout your surroundings you see who's around you what they can see and you try to use your map you try to maximize your movement and so what that would look like is you know you see okay you know i'm not gonna get i'm not gonna die if i run out here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go down so that way they don't see me at it to the top right because now this guy imagine this guy over here spheres he knows you're gone like even if he was like afk on tiktok he turns around like ah that guy's gone right yeah so instead you don't have to go through this back wall but like you just come down here and you drop down here and edit this wall and reset it. And that way, if maybe if someone looks over here a couple seconds later, they're like, oh, maybe he's still there. You just reset the wall to scout, right? That's okay. very common. So don't show yourself leaving, number one. Number two, when you do leave, like think about your surroundings like we just did. We just looked around us. We saw there's not many people that can see us. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out your wall. You're gonna use your sprint. You're gonna slide, use your sprint, slide. And then, you know, once you're into a sketchy spot, which is probably here, right? Which is where you boxed, then yeah. you'll pop your berry. So it's maximizing your movement. Right, you don't have to waste your berry here. Like, look what you did. You, you wasted your berry, and you got all the way to here. The berry got you there. And could could you have ran that normally? One hundred percent, yes. One hundred percent. No one even shot at you. You didn't need the berry at all. That there was no speed that was gained from it. There's no no advantage. You should have just ran. Simply just ran. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to overcomplicate these rotates and like attach a like because the zone's bigger, I should use my mobility. Like you're just going to waste it and you don't have to waste it because a berry could mean you are now second height and you bury up on height and you win, win the game. A berry could mean you jump off of a hill and you bury and you jump all the way down the ultimate low ground and pump a kid on the way down and get a full refresh. 
Like a berry could mean a ton of things. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't, but okay, yeah, I I know I see what you're saying. But if I had just ran, wouldn't it have been like a lot easier for the guy on the right to just be me? I mean, that's why I you build a couple walls. Yeah. Okay. It, like it's a it's like a trade off, right? So like, let's say you're here and you come down, you do everything I just said, you come down, so he doesn't see you. Le you leave. Yeah, you're leaving. If he doesn't see you leave, you probably can get to like here before he sees you. Like think about the time, right? Like you're sprinting, right. like maybe even further than that. Like and at, at a certain point. A player like you would you would agree that like a player isn't gonna shoot at you if the opportunity is not really there. Like if he spots you right here, right now, and he knows you have to cross this entire way from like here to the train tracks, I would hundred percent say that he's gonna start shooting at me like at least like one or two times, or maybe he'll spray me. Like who knows what he'll exactly he'll do. Either way, like risk reward, he's not gonna kill me and not gonna ruin my game. Like he's not gonna he's not gonna mess me up. It's yeah. it's fine. So but um imagine like he sees you here like he might not even shoot at you like yeah he could shoot at you but he might because like what is he gonna get like he's not gonna kill you you're gonna be gone now you're now you're gone like right, right. so you, so it's like all about timing right so like if you didn't show yourself come down here right like and let's say you were able to sprint to here like he might not even to shoot at you and you just keep aware like you just put a wall like knowing who can see you like this is the only guy these two okay. guys so you put a couple walls or maybe you just hold your builds out that's as simple as it as it gets like you don't have to like this rotate you popped a berry and you still didn't scout around you. And I see that a lot with like a lot of the, a lot of players is they will, they'll rotate and they just will never look around them. And it's not hard to just be flicky. Like here, you're just like, you're like laser focused on like this tree or something. Like you're just like locked in, like you, your eyes, like, I'm sure it's not like that, but it seems like it, right? Like you're not yeah. like this, this guy, if this guy's not seeing you look like, even if, even if, uh, like this is psychology of a player. This is what I think about a ton is like, like if this guy, if I'm about to shoot you, if I'm this this dude in the box, and I don't, e you're not even looking at me. I'm taking the shot, no matter if you're here or if you're here. Like and yet you have like a half second, you know, left for me to shoot you, or if you're here. Like if you're not looking at me, I'm I'm shooting at you 100 percent because there's no risk, there's zero risk. I'll shoot at you. You can't possibly turn around and snipe me in the head. Like it's impossible. But if you're like looking at me, right? Like the guy might not even edit on you. You might not have to build. He might not. Right. He might not even edit. Cause you never know. Or imagine you have a sniper and you can hold it out. Like he's definitely not going to edit on you. So things right. like that, like maximizing your movement is in general, like what you should have done here. Right. So you just wasted a berry. Like you went the same distance that you would have gone. And and then you full box. Like you just made a entire way, way too much space. It should have just been as simple as like, stop. Like, you know, nobody was on your back. Like if you really think someone's on your back, then you just build a simple wall. You build walls around you stair cone. Like that's it right here on this level. You don't have yeah, to go up. I'm Cause what this leads to is, this guy right here, he's probably going to end up doing it. He's going to spray you out because I 100% yeah, would. He does. So just simply just build a stair. Also, you can just you can pop a berry while moving. So you could have just you could have full sprint here. OK, saw your berry running out like scout your scout around you, which you didn't do during this rotate or when you got up to the top here. And um, I'll talk about that in a second. But let me finish my point here is this while you're rotating, you just pop another berry and rotate and boom. This is where I would have gone right here because um, I, I I thought that um. Like, I've seen other players, like, when they run out of movement that they just, like, box up. But, like, I also need to work on, like, mat conservation because I've, like, built, like, two random cones just, like, off to the side. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that that that's not necessarily as important as the fact that you just made an entire full box on a wall. Right. Like, you could have just simply have... You could have saved... I mean, if, you, you wouldn't have placed these builds anyway. So let's imagine how many builds you could have saved if you did what I would have done here is you would have saved one, two, plus you would have saved one in their four here and one in your top. So you would have saved four builds. That's another box, essentially. Because okay. what I would have done is simply is wall, wall, wall. I probably wouldn't even have walled my back here. Stare. If I felt like I was in danger, I would have put a stare and a cone down. But I maybe I might have just put walls and then just bash, dash to the left. Or if you don't even want to build, you don't have to build. You could just... See your berries running out, pop it on your last jump while you're jumping, go again. See it's running out, pop yeah. it again, go again. Like, that's if you have a lot of berries. Um, but, what was I going to say? Let's just see what happens. I forget. Yeah, you get shot out, now you're wasting more mats. I thought I was going to get lobbied there, so I was in wood, but I didn't. Yeah, I mean, if you were, even if you were in brick, you're still going to get sprayed out. Is more about the positioning you put yourself in, not the not the mats that you used. At least you used wood to not burn your hearts too early. Right. Well, I do, but you'll see that later. 
So again, another thing, just to drill the thought of like, now this guy, everyone knows you left. This Ted, you guys knows you're gone. This guy over here knows you're gone. Like, just go out your wall. Like, go out the right wall right here. Edit out this wall. Right. Just edit out this wall. Nobody can see you there. Just edit, reset it, and go. I didn't know what this guy was doing, so I was just... I yeah, just, just go. Him. Oh, he died? Nice. Pop a berry and go. Yeah. A, a guy tried to fight me for the loot, so I just... Yeah. It's fine. It works. Chill. You gotta stop shooting at people. That, that, that's so useless. You have a, you're like okay. super trigger happy. Like there's no point. There's no point even shooting this guy. This is a full grief. Like you barely make it in. You make it in on like what two ticks and you're dead. Like I know you have a med kit, so you would have lived it, but still, like that is there's no reason to fight that guy there. Or to even go for the loot. Like you're here, saying like my mats were good enough and like yeah, I had 100 percent I needed. Hundred okay. percent. You didn't well, need to shoot I just, anybody. I just thought that if he had a, a Fizzberry jar because it, it resets to a hundred yeah. every time. Yep. I thought that 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 could have made like been like a game winning like refresh. Yeah, I mean, you can get that any time in the game though, like hundred yeah. percent. And then here looks like you just do a blind rotate, like you just pop the berry and you go. Like you never scouted once, like never. You can never do that in Fortnite. You have to because this this isn't this didn't get you killed here. I've mentioned this a ton. You didn't die here. Yeah. You didn't lose your mats. You didn't get headshot sniped. But because you're not practicing this mechanic and not scouting every time in the end game, you're gonna die. Like it's gonna be moving zones. And you're not gonna scout and you're gonna make the wrong rotate and you're gonna die just because you didn't scout. So scout always scout. And again, right. again, if you scouted this. You would have seen, like, simply, you would have seen, you could have sprayed this guy's wall. You might have heard this guy already left. You could have maybe, like, been on this wall here. Like, you could have scouted to see this. Oh, no one's here. Spray, spray this. No one's here. Okay. There's literally no one to my right right now. Maybe you spray this. No one's there. You could have just ran. Like, you don't have to waste your mobility. Again, like, uh, the, like you just you just run. Run right. for free. Instead of wasting. And then, and then you could pop your berry. Like, you could have just ran right here, then pop your berry, and then you go. Um... Also, the key by your rotates again because because you didn't scout. I mean, I have no idea how the rest of this game plays out. We're about to see it, but because you didn't scout, you just picked the worst rotate possible. You went right up the middle versus like imagine you just take two seconds to scout. Like, oh wait, okay, this guy's gone. This guy's oh, is there a guy there? Spray the wall. Nope, no one's there. I because I took two seconds to scout. I scouted. Oh, no one's here. Boom, I'm doing this. How much easier is this rotate than what you just did? Way easier. Way easier. And all it is is scouting. That's the only difference is you just didn't look in your cone for two seconds. That's it. That would have changed your entire game. We're about to watch this game, but that, that seems like it could have changed your entire... It would have made things 10 times easier. So here you are again on rotate, shooting people, which is, is fine, but not doing it too much. Like, this is... Look, it's leaning into it being a little too much, but we'll see what we do here. So you go. It's fine. And you... you like, because you shot this guy, you have to build a box. So you know he's looking at you. And you wasted more mats. Like, here's another 100 builds gone. Oh, more than that. Do you have any tips on, like, working on mat conservation because you'll see it again but i like every time i build a box i pretty much waste like 30 40 more mat yeah so i mean it's not necessarily again your thought process is a little it's a little it's valid but it's a little wrong because you shouldn't be building boxes like this and like you if you're gonna ever box like your goal should be like come here shoot this guy and then box on the tree and you can farm the tree back like thinking about refarm is super important like come here get over this hill and i can box on this and i could refarm this like boxing and refarm is number one number one priority secondly like you you should be thinking about how you can make like quicker but mat conservative boxes like you don't need like we mentioned earlier you don't need to make a full box with like what is this floor even doing for you like what is this floor below you even do? like just do wall a couple walls and a stair and a cone maybe okay. and that's it pop your berry and let's go like, you're not staying here. You're not boxing here. Like, that should be your thought process. Am I staying here for an extended amount of time? Yes. All right, then build a full box, 100%. Which is what you would say if you were in zone here. Like, am, is this pure fun guy going to stay here for an extended amount of time? Yeah, okay. So then he should build a cone floor. Is this zero guy going to stay here for an extended amount of time? No. So he shouldn't build a full box. Like, that's your thought process. That's how easy it is to change right. it. And then building, like, a, like this is, you're right. Like, I do understand how this is a waste of mats, and I can see that. It's just as simple as, like, being like quick with your with your builds like simply i can show you a thing that i would recommend you practicing but it's literally just building a, a straight tarp here i'll show you in a second after this game but anyways you go you're still shooting at people you're still like like 
you're all that is wasted mats. I think there's another two, there's two, there's six builds wasted because you're shooting at a guy. Like you didn't have to do that. You did not have to shoot at that guy at all, and you wouldn't have you wouldn't have wasted six builds. So that's a full box, right. by the way. That's that's one box you just wasted. Right? Now you're going. That's another another probably one build. And here's another full build because you're shooting. Or like I don't I don't know if this I don't know if you shot this guy, but this is like just cause and effect the cause and effect of shooting this guy. Like does that make sense? Like if you don't shoot yeah. this guy and you just rotate, you're, you're you're good. On top of this, because you're shooting this guy, um like you shoot that guy for some reason, whatever, like doesn't like you don't need surge, you're chilling. And then you come up here, you build more walls, right? Because you're shooting like you're shooting these guys, you're paranoid, you're making yourself like panic a bit more you're not even scouting ahead of you imagine there's like six guys with snipers looking all this direction like which they should be there should be like one or two guys looking with a sniper here look at this look at this view this guy has you see it it's huge it's beautiful it's perfect like you're you're so like look you're turning around you're sliding down the hill you're looking down like you're like trying to think about how like where's the closest player to you rather than Where's the guys that are holding me that could that are actually going to ruin my game? Like this isn't going to ruin your game. Building one box, getting fought, but this guy uh, that's already in zone, that that could literally just put his entire 500 bullets into you, and this guy that could put his entire mag into you, like that guy is going to ruin your game. Like that is going to kill you or get you griefed, and that's over. Like why? Just why? You don't have to shoot any of these guys like at all. You're was shooting surge at the beginning of the game, but then it like here, here's the thing with solo surge. Solo surge is the easiest surge in all of Fortnite. It's like two tags. Like if you're like, oh, uh, I might need some store. Like, like think about the for stacked lobbies. Like this is when I played all star solos, World Cup solos. Like right. when I was working with with my coaches at the time, they were like, yeah, dude, just 150 surge, you're good. You know how much that is? Like that's like three or four body shots. Like back then, right. it was like three or four body shots. Like 30, 30, 30, boom. Oh, got it. All right, I'm, I'm good on first surge. That's first surge. That's like not dying to first surge. Then moving zone, the next one, you have to get like 60 tags, 60 damage. Like that's yeah. two AR tags back then. Like the, th the blue AR would do 30 each. So same thing here. It's like, dude, if you're below surge, just shoot one guy one time and you're good. Yeah, so I'll, I'm going to teach you something about like, I'll, I'll show you some boxing stuff because you, your boxing is like a waste of, you're wasting a lot of mats and then you're doing it extremely slow. Um, I'll teach this a lot as well. Just trip away your cone, right? Like if you're ever going to be in a box, trip away yeah. towards the crowd, right? So where would the crowd be? This this is probably the closest yeah. guy that's going to shoot you. This guy, like, yeah, there's a guy behind you, but he's not like the threat is is clearly these guys. So I would block these guys. Like I would edit this one, this one, this one, and have like I just set like this in the box, and I'd look behind me and, and I'd watch these walls, make sure they don't spray them. So trip away, super important. Now you're here. By this point, you've wasted like probably like 700 mats. Seems like. Yeah, I, I have mad of wood at this point. There's some mats there to get. You should definitely go for it. Like, go, go, go right now. Go and build build off your side. Like, you know that the zone's coming towards you. Like, or maybe maybe you don't know, but you should be able to tell. Like, the zone's this way, which means everyone that's, that is behind you has to come towards you. So, like, you've got to build your back right now. Like, okay. And it, it's as simple as, like, being smooth in it. I'm going to show you. Like, let me write this down in my notes. I don't so right here, like you gotta build here, be smooth in your builds, and like get all the loot, get all of it. I just, I yeah, I I didn't, cause I saw a guy go for it and he like full tarp to it, so I thought that um that he might still be in there, like that guy zero or whatever. I thought he was maybe still sitting there, so I just I wanted to get the fizz berry because I knew that that would like this guy got everything and got out perfectly fine. But no, like it's just I I get you, but it's more about just get just I'll, I'll explain like you could have you could have simply just put a backward stair in the box and you would have been right. chilling oh, we have audio again let's go so you're here here's a valentine to shoot like he's right below you like get him away and if you have wood here by the way it's wood all the way it's wood wood yeah, wood I, I i was out i ran out there was wood in that guy's box, which makes it that's like that's another reason why like you should have especially gone for that. Like even if it was 50 wood, like that wood right there could have changed your mats. Like you want to save your hard mats until the last minute. Here, triple away before you heal, right? And just to give you right. like triple away is gonna be like boom, boom, boom. Like your back's gonna be facing this way. You're gonna be sitting like this. Because this is the crowd. Oh, 
edit your cone here like you're asking to get sprayed if you if you like you're gonna get griefed here if you don't edit your cone more often and it has to be like this full edit like this guy can spray you still from right here There you go. Scouting a little bit. Also, when you're chopping height there, like you don't have to be so pushed against the wall. You can be like back, like here. Okay. And chop them. Or you can just make a better edit. Like I know someone can jump in your box from like a peanut butter peak right now, but like mm -hmm. it's a quick floor. It's or it's a stair. You just quickly come here, spray it out, and like as long as you're further back, like you don't want to be pushed against the wall there. That's like someone's running here and like, oh, bonk, two hundred, keep going. Right. So don't be so pushed against your wall there. Again, here you go on a rotate. Let's see if you scout. You do a bit of scouting. Like here's simple, just like, oh, there's a guy right here. That could have been maybe a free kill. Like who yeah. knows what edit you're gonna take there, but. Or you could have just not have been caught off by that guy. I didn't even know you killed him, but that could have been your game just because you didn't scout, right? Away, especially because you're in wood. Pop your fizz, go out your top. It's always that's like always execution there. Pop your fizz out your top. So you have a fizz and you don't really use it, I you just drop or you run out. I think I, I ran out, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It, but if you can, if you if you can fizz, like just you just always fizz out of your top here and just jump and land and never ever land ultimate low, never. Like if you have, if you have five fizz left, doesn't matter. Like you just land above ultimate low somehow, some way. I see yeah, a replay bug's not gonna show me how you died, but I'm guessing you just got sprayed or something like that. Ran out of bats. Um, I I jumped in a in a box and we okay. killed each other because I had a hundred, I had like ten metal builds left. Yep. So I just yeah. That's not that's, that's valid. No, but I mean, we learned a lot that game. We learned about like rotating efficiently, right? Having efficient rotates and not burning your guzzle or your berries too early. Like yeah. you can just simply just use your sprint up and then box and use your sprint and box and then pop a berry. And so think doing things like that or would be a huge way for you to um like make your rotates a lot smoother scouting before rotate is like probably one of the more important things we learned of like something that you just don't do consistently enough is like you just got it you got to be scouting got to be looking around you got to be like it'll help you so much and then small tips like shooting walls and you know just kind of paying attention to who's in your boxes near you on top of when you are leaving your own box you're not going to edit out the top you're not going to edit out a wall in front of the guy like you're going to go out of a back right. wall things like that will change and make things so much easier for you and especially in duos like so much easier for your partner behind you um, or if you're like the fragger and he's the IJ, like making sure that he understands like, Hey man, don't edit out the wall that we're going to run like towards the lobby with like, yeah. let's go out of back wall here. So I don't die. Um, that would be huge. And then, um, what else is it? We learned, uh, like going for the, going for the, 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 the body of loot or actually, no, let me, let me go back a bit to other things we learned. Shooting people on rotates, not needed at all. Like again, solos right. is literally, if you need surge, it's like 200 damage, 150 damage. Like, which if you can add that up and you should be adding your surge 100 percent if you can add that up it's gonna look like like you already had that by the time you did your first like from the point we watched you already had max surge i guarantee you like yeah so you're good like you're so chilling and again if you need a tag it's like one or two tags so stop shooting people it would make your rotates so much easier and then again like because you did shoot people you were constantly looking at the ground and rotating and like you know, you're like, like looking back at the guys while the whole lobby's in front of you and you're just asking to get griefed and, and killed. 